What's going on Crimson Crew? I'm back with another adventure out here in the vast wilderness of Vancouver Island. Sorry it's been a while guys. I'm not fortunate enough to do this as a full-time job yet. So I had some work that I had to attend to and it took up about a month of my time on weekends and stuff. So I had to get that job done. I'm a carpenter by trade so got a little busy there. So after that then I got sick for a week and I just haven't had the energy to get out and do anything so trying to get better which I am now and get back out and do this stuff we're starting off here at camp we got in a little late last night it was about eight, nine o'clock when we rolled up I got Casey with me he's in his JL his white JL and I got David with me from off the grind he's in his Bronco and we also got chef John gonna cook up an awesome meal tonight stay tuned for that it's gonna be freaking awesome can't wait what a nice way to start the morning couldn't see this last night it seems to be a theme and the videos when I go out with the BC YouTubers is we roll up at night and this is what we see. So let's get on with the adventure. Let's go see what the other guys are up to and go from there. All right, guys, we're here with Casey. What's going on, guys? Uh, Casey from the YouTube channel Casey250. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah check we're it out. Here out. Doing some camping. <laughs> yeah. Destroying drones. Yeah. And uh, having some fun. <laughs> Go check out my channel if you want to see what happened to my drone this morning. <laughs> yeah. Casey started his morning with a uh, loud bang. A little bit of a bang. Yeah. It's <laughs> crazy. All right. What's the plan, Casey? Uh, well, we're just getting uh, packed up here. It's pretty cold, about zero degrees out. So uh, it's a nice start of almost winter, and uh, we're gonna head west onto the center of the island and. I think we got to go through a 2,000 foot pass uh, to get to where we want to camp tonight, which may or may not have some snow. Um, snow could be fun, um, <laughs> but it may not allow us to get to where we want to go. Still and too early for snow. Yeah, I know. It's the end <laughs> of October, and uh, yeah, we're do some. It's just kind of a chill camping, exploring, and uh, we've got David up here from off the grind, hanging out with us from Washington. So we want to show him a bit of the island and just hang out, do some camping and a little bit of off roading today. More of an overlandy trip. It's definitely an overlandy yeah. trip. We need one of those after my Rubicon trip. I yeah. need some some chilled downtime. So this, this will be perfect. Sounds good. Yeah, man. All right, guys. Uh, we got Chef John here and his Forerunner. How's it going, guys? <laughs> first first trip out. Yeah, first trip meeting Chef John. A little chilly. Yeah, a little cold. Yeah. Uh, definitely could be a bit warmer. I know. Yeah. We'll be good tonight. We got a big stew plan for tonight. Nice and hearty. So. Yeah, I heard, I heard Chef John's gonna cook us up his special. Yeah, well, the, I, I don't think I've done a stew on any of our trips, but uh, this one should be good. It's supposed to, I think we're supposed to see some snow, so I want to make sure all the boys are fed and uh, yeah, be fun. Yeah, get a nice hearty meal in us. So. Yeah, no, I'm definitely excited. Awesome. <laughs> a little yeah. cold last night. A little bit chilly. My uh, <laughs> I think my, my battery ran out for my, my heated uh, blanket oh, partway no. through the night, so. That's but not it was good. Pretty, still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I tried out the diesel heater. It worked pretty good. Those are nice. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot, you know, it's extra to carry, but if you got the room, it's worth it. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I find that it, it gets hot, though, and it's just, you can't really turn it down. <laughs> I know. you got to <laughs> dial it in. I think s some of them have, like, the sensor that you put inside your tent. Um, yeah. So it can auto-regulate, but yeah. even at that, it gets a bit, yeah. <laughs> Now we're getting into, like, the bougie glamping. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not really camping anymore, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. I was say, it's o said to David, it's over glamping, not over landing. Come on. <laughs> do you, you do the YouTube stuff? I don't. No, oh. I'm just I, I'm I'm just an extra. That's oh, all. An extra. Yeah. You do the Instagram. Though. Yeah. I do Instagram. Yeah, it's what am I on there? Jono.250. <laughs> Doesn't even know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I, it's not my business. Well, yeah. if I find it, I'll link it below. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. You might remember me from such vlogs. This is yeah. the story till now. In case yeah. 250. Yeah, if you watch Sean or Casey, you'll, you know who he is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Oh, it's good to have you out, man. Yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So let's, uh, let's get on to the adventure. Let's do it. The old forerunner. Keeps up with the Jeeps, though, I heard. so. It keeps up with the Jeeps. It rescues them sometimes. <laughs> it uh, breaks some trails. You can tell by all the pinstriping down the yeah. side. Yeah, Yeah, these forerunners, scared. they just go. <laughs> oh, I like those side steps. Those are cool. Yeah. Got the built-in light. Absolutely. Yeah, That's sick. super nice. Wired properly, so uh, <laughs> we've got them. We've got them as courtesy lights for when the doors open, and then we can control them just for rock lights too, which is super handy at night when you're night going wheeling. down uh, switchbacks on the ends of uh, sheer faces on the side of mountains. And <laughs> oh, you didn't do the uh, the Captain Colin install no. zip ties? No, no, there's no. I mean, there is zip ties, but in the right <laughs> spots. Uh, zip ties where you want them. Yeah, exactly. No, they're they're actually really really handy for. The, I think. 
the 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 argument for proper rock lights and and like a pillar lights is <laughs> I've found most useful when you're doing the really when you're just coming down a mountain or going up a mountain at night because uh, that's when one bad place wheel is really means yeah. the difference <laughs> between something so yeah, we've, been cl we've been close like we a lot of times because Casey and I well and you would know the deal of like rushing back to get a ferry so you yeah. need to you need, <laughs> we're out somewhere in <clears throat> Washington or Oregon it's like okay we got to leave we're coming off a mountain you know you need to get back yeah it's like, like five four, in the morning yeah <laughs> four five in the morning four in the morning <laughs> you're oh no down. I get that yeah I had that I just put rock lights on mine so I had them on my truck and they're just so nice yeah especially when you're doing like tight trails at night or whatever yeah exactly yeah yeah part of it's just that it's cool but it <laughs> is actually useful yeah for... it's like a honda civic right yeah yeah, yeah exactly. fast and furious <laughs> off-road style <laughs> exactly only use them off-road <laughs> yeah yeah right yeah. <laughs> all right well let's get on with the day packing up let's yeah. do it interesting that's a that's a very interesting way of stuff. filming what's up how you doing Hi. Are you vlogging? Hi. <laughs> the candid, not so candid. You just point the camera at somebody and don't say anything. I don't see, yeah. No, that got really awkward. I'm used to staring at camera lenses, but that was awkward. Just, uh, <laughs> what do I do? Who are you? Uh, I'm David. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From where? Washington. Oh, yeah. What's your channel? Off the Grind. Why'd you call it that? Oh, okay, I, that's not a one-word answer. That's <laughs> broke my cane. That's a uh, story, though. <laughs> I was sitting in a meeting and I was hating life, and I was like, I need to get off the grind. And I was like, boom, there that's it is. It. That's it. We're done. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I've been trying, but you know, like I, not at that point yet. <laughs> Got to do it, man. Not, not like you two, you know. Just take the leap. <laughs> I mean, Casey still does have a job another I job a, a, a obsessive nature of working <laughs> all the time <laughs> so like this is his second job but is, this isn't really a second job for me yet <laughs> one, day. One, one day. day one day hopefully yeah you know it's day. gotta start somewhere yeah you can't have success if you don't try <laughs> what's that you can't have success if you don't try quote of the day Casey 250 <laughs> quote of a lifetime quote right? of a lifetime <laughs> <laughs> should have put that one in my yearbook <laughs> 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 nice If I'm being honest, loving you the hardest thing to do, so I keep to myself. I feel like I'm falling in and out of consciousness, yeah. Now we starting to talk, let's kill another problem, cause it's really hard to process. You treat me like an object, baby, we toxic, can't we stay on topic? I feel like we lost it, feel like we lost it. Take my love, don't waste it. Even though I don't mind waiting Late test my mind racing What else I have to do, girl? I only want you I only want you, yeah I only want you I only want you To pull me closer Alright guys, we're gonna hit the road here from this wreck site and we're gonna go explore, find some cool spots. Hit 
the trailhead here. We're airing down. And we're gonna head down here and we're gonna go check out a campsite. We're kind of just scouting this trip, so we're gonna go check out a few areas and see what we can find. You ready to explore, John? Always. You heard it. better. I think so. We just rolled up on the spot here. It's pretty cool. You can drive along the beach here, but it's there's not much room. So I think we're going to head and look for something else. But it's pretty cool. Definitely cool spot, but let's see if we can find something else. I mean, you can't beat the view though. It used to be an old log sort of some sort, so that's why it's paved, but I mean, look at this. Can't beat the view, but it's a little weird that it's paved. Might be looking for another spot, but this is pretty cool. What's going on guys? We got the tent set up, we got camp set up here. So so on this trip last night, I tried out one of these Chinese diesel heaters. And uh, 
if it's above freezing, it's a little excessive. It gets pretty hot in the tent, but last night it worked out pretty good. So I'm pretty impressed with that. It actually makes it feel like you're inside like a cabin or something. Like it's nice and warm. It's not just like a heated blanket on the bottom. It keeps the entire tent warm. So I just hang it off the uh, bottom of the hooks here on the eye camper and I just hang it there and have the exhaust shooting out one side and then I pipe the heat up into this side and I'm impressed with it. It was, it was definitely nice. Toasty, nice toasty sleep. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour actually on how I do everything. Obviously it's a Sky Camper 2.5, 2.0 with a 3.0 skin kit on it. Um, so inside I got the inflatable mattress. I do keep a heated blanket in here just so I have it. So on Amazon I got one of these because in the summer it's nice to have the fan because it gets pretty hot in the tent. And it also has a built-in light. So you can turn the light on the center and then you can turn the fan on and if you leave it it's pretty quiet and it'll last all night easily so I usually hang this from the roof in here and I'll throw it in quickly so I hang it from the hook up here and it just hangs up there probably won't help much but that's what I do and then the fan can blow on you just hang a little bit because it twists Keeps you nice and cool in the summer. So that's my setup. I'm gonna blow up the air mattress quickly. It's self-inflating, so you just need to pull these and it will self-inflate, but to speed it up with the iCamera mattresses, I usually just pump it up because it's a lot easier and quicker. And it does self-inflate eventually, but it doesn't usually get hard enough. So I'm gonna quickly blow it up and I'm gonna throw my bedding in here and I'll show you guys kind of like how I have it set up and how I camp. Also throw the diesel heater underneath and I'll show you all that. So. I'll be right back. It's a little later now. I decided to get some drone shots and eat dinner and stuff, but I'll show you how I got my tent set up inside and uh, the diesel heater. So I got the diesel heater pipe here going through the window. Diesel heater I got hanging under here. Then I got the wire running into the truck and then inside the tent I got the, my bedding. Diesel heater comes in there and the light, that's pretty much it. A little bit chilly last night, but diesel heater kept me warm. There was an amazing view, but as you can see, it's a little foggy this morning, so can't really see anything. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna throw the drone up and try to get above the fog and uh, see what the morning sun looks like.
All right, so we're just burning up the rest of our wood because, you know, we don't like leaving wood for anybody else. Screw them. <laughs> we're going to eat it to breakfast. And we're going to have a nice long drive back. Okay, we're going to have a short five hours home. <laughs> he's got a little longer, but I don't think he's doing it all in one day, so. It's not bad. I'm going to bug Casey and his family tonight. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. Play some guitar. Give us like a, a brief, quick rundown of the Bronco. All you really need to know is this is better than your Gladiator. It's a Bronco. Nobody cares. Please. If you want to see more of his Bronco, you can also just check out his channel. Yeah, <laughs> especially after that. This is a Jeep channel, so I don't give it. So it's just a Bronco with 35s and a wedge tent. Okay. <laughs> I, I truly I don't have much done to it. Suspension stock, the tires are aftermarket, roof rack, tent. Uh, that's really it. But and the roto packs. The, the roto packs, obviously, yeah. because you're not an overlander unless you have roto yeah. packs. That adds yeah. 10 horsepower too, at least. For sure, yeah. <laughs> so, no, it's a, it's a modest build. There's not much going on right now. Yeah. It'll yeah, get think, there. Um, for sure. He's got the recovery boards. <laughs> That he's probably never used. I have. I've used them. <laughs> no, I went camping like a couple weeks ago, and the truck wasn't level, so I needed them to level <laughs> the truck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. The then. Bronco is so it. Can't, I literally can't get this thing stuck, so I don't really need it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he's gonna come up yeah. snow wheeling with us and show us how that how he doesn't get stuck. Right. So. You're not allowed to yeah. come up here. Snow <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, no, really, I promise you I'd be the first to get stuck. Well, he, he could go first, I guess, so we could winch him backwards. <laughs> All right, guys, Chef John cooked us up an amazing breakfast. Fire's burnt down. We're going to put a little water on there, make sure it's out before we leave. We're getting ready to head out. All packed up. Everybody's Hi, packed up. I'm trying to. Are you? Nope. Oh. Darn. He's got to go back to America Are and hopefully stay there. Hopefully he's going to stay there this time. Nah, dude, I'm coming back. We're going to be nah. roommates. No, nah, I'm calling the uh, border patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Report a false claim. <laughs> false. This guy's got weapons. <laughs> I guess you can do the same the other way. <laughs> After my Moab trip, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to invite you down, but it's all premeditated. All. <laughs> You're you gonna have the whole border patrol lined up on the other side. I'm on the go. Oh, I'm yeah. swimming back. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice uh, hanging out with this guy. Hopefully, he comes up more to the island. It's good times. Yeah. It's good times. More trips. Hopefully, see him more. He's pretty fun. I don't tell him that though. <laughs> It'll all go to his head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, I'm all caught up on work, so we should be good. Should have some sweet episodes coming soon. I got some awesome snow wheeling adventures planned with Colin. I got the diesel heater for some really cold nights. It's gonna be a pretty uh, action-packed winter, hopefully. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a comment, subscribe, like. That'd be awesome, really helps me out, guys. Shows me that you're enjoying it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, get outside, it's free.